is it possible? Right, that's a big question. It's, it's a very lofty question. Can we actually restore kelp? In 2014, we had a really big storm at the end of the summer that wiped out all the kelp on this side of the island. And that was followed by a strong El Nino with really warm water temperatures, so the kelp didn't grow back. And then that kind of allowed an opportunity for an invasive algae called Sargassum horneri to reproduce and spread. It has um, outcompeted new kelp recruits that are trying to grow back. My name is Jeff Chase. I work here at Simi Toyan Bay. I'm the director of the programs here. I am also the principal investigator on this project. We're working in collaboration with uh, Matt Edwards from San Diego State University, who's a kelp biologist, to be able to make this process happen. We're following his protocols. We'll be doing a lot of studies. So in a temporal study from month to month, year to year, we'll be assessing what's out there. We'll be counting, documenting, taking data. To get data on the ecosystem as a whole, we are doing fish surveys to see what fish are where. We're doing invertebrate surveys to measure abundance of invertebrates and diversity of invertebrates at the sites. We are doing algae surveys to see what algae is naturally occurring. Right now, at a lot of places, the kelp is at zero and we're hoping that number increases. We're also getting kind of a picture of the bottom of the seafloor, which is cool. We're doing that in a couple of ways. We're doing that through, you know, laying quadrats and measuring what the bottom looks like at a particular point. But we've also collected this really high resolution seafloor data with a, a cool seafloor mapping device. This portion of the project, as well as so much more, has been spearheaded by Deirdre Sullivan, a CIMI alumni and co-principal investigator on this project. If we can create a how-to, people can take that how-to, then implement it in their area as well. Catalina Island, if we can restore kelp, kelp's really important for the economy of the island. We have a lot of people that fish. It's a huge diving community for the economy of the area as well. I think it's really important for us to give staff an opportunity to develop their skill set as well. So this program will allow staff to be able to become more proficient in science, have impact, and be able to then tell their story. I, I love the ocean and I, for me seeing that change was heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking to see kelp go away, sargassum take over, the ecology of our local waters change and not in a good way. So I wanted to see if there's a way to bring it back to the United State. And I also wanted to give kids this message of, we have the ability, if we work as a group, make a difference on our street corner, we can change it and bring it back to its native state. Guided Discoveries and the Catalina Island Marine Institute are, are so uniquely situated in a place where we can combine this you know, scientific underwater research with education. Our participants are really able to see the science in action every day, which is so cool. We don't want our snorkels to be a cautionary tale of what could happen to the ocean or to talk about how things used to be. We want to be able to showcase this vibrant marine ecosystem that is restored and resilient and beautiful and healthy. We spend a lot of time as adults telling kids things are wrong and with the environment. I want to show kids that there's an issue, there's a solution, and show them that we're taking care of that solution. We're doing it as citizens and stewards of the ocean.